Hi everybody, I uh, thought I'd take a minute and share with you how you can use your oils to make a few summertime um, essentials. So when we do these make and take classes that you might see, a lot of people may not know what make and take is, but basically you um, pay a small fee, we provide you with the materials, you can bring your oils if you have them, and we give you recipes and show you how to use your oils to make um, various different kinds of items um, for your home. So today I thought we'd talk about um, a few things. So sun soothing spray, and I'm gonna provide the um, the recipes in the um, comments section, but we're gonna do the sun soothing spray. So this will actually help um, your, when you have a sunburn, it will help your body cool down, get rid of the redness, and actually take some of the pain away. Um, we're gonna talk about Itch Relief, which is essential in the summer for those bug bites, mosquito bites, stuff like that. It takes the itch away almost instantly. Um, natural Bug Spray, which is one of my favorite things. It is, it works wonders. It really, really does. And then the last one is Natural Sunscreen, which we're going to talk about. So this is just going to be a quick little video, and then I'll share the recipes um, when, when the video is done. So first of all, the um, itch relief is just a rollerball. This is a 10 ml um, rollerball that you can buy anywhere on Amazon at your local health food store. Um, and you wanna make sure that it's glass and you wanna make sure that it's um, dark glass as well because if um, light is constantly on the oils, it can degrade um, the uh, effectiveness of the oil. So this is the itch relief. Super, super easy. It is 10, 15 drops of lemon, 15 drops of lavender, and 15 drops of peppermint. So literally, you're just gonna hold it over the bottle and you're gonna count six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, perfect. And then we're gonna do the same thing with lavender, 15, one, two, four, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. And one of the things that you'll notice when you're doing your oils is they have different consistencies. So some of them come out super fast and then some of them um, might take a little longer. So that's totally normal. And then the last one we are gonna do is peppermint. And we're gonna do 15, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, so perfect. And then um, you're just gonna add a fractionated coconut oil to the top of that to top it off. Put the cap back on and you're gonna push it down. And that is pretty much it. So when you get a mosquito bite that itches, you're literally just going to rub this on and it will take the itch away almost instantaneously. So that is a very quick and easy way to use three of your staple oils, lemon, lavender, peppermint. Um, the next one that we will do is after sun soothing spray. I love this one. This is great. So if you get a sunburn, um, we're going to do, again, lavender, peppermint. Um, this is a two-ounce spray bottle. Again, it's glass, and the glass is dark. You can get this from your health food store, from Amazon, or other aroma tools, or other um, EOS essential oil supply stores. And this, we're going to do 15 drops of lavender. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Okay, and then we're going to do about fifteen to twenty of peppermint. And everybody's different, so if you feel like you want more peppermint or more lavender, you know, I always tell oils or tell people oils is it's not like baking. So you just kind of use some of these. Um, drop numbers as a guide. I personally like a little more peppermint and lavender. And um, then we're gonna top this off with witch hazel. And witch hazel, you can get pretty much almost anywhere. Whole Foods, Fruit for Yield, um, Walmart, Jewel, pretty much anywhere. Just when you're looking for witch hazel, um, make sure that it's unscented. Uh, there are some that are uh, non-alcoholic and some that have alcohol in it. So it's just kind of whichever you prefer. And we're gonna add that to this and we're gonna top that off. And I'll explain to you in just a minute what it will do. 
So the peppermint is actually cooling to your skin out so it will literally cool your skin down when it's hot. Um, the lavender is soothing for your skin and will also take the redness out. And then the witch hazel takes the heat out. So the combination of the three of them is magical when you have um, a painful sunburn or even just a light sunburn. So I just say shake it up whenever you use it. Um, and then it's really nice to just kind of spritz on. And then you don't even have to touch the skin. So this is great. This is also a good one to carry around in the summer if you get hot. Frequently. So like if you're going to be at a festival or if you're going to be at a picnic or something and it's 100 degrees outside because it has the peppermint in it and the witch hazel um, and lavender is always calming. I literally just spritz a little on my back. Peppermint literally um, cools your body down. So you will feel the coolness in your neck and will actually um, cool the body down. So that's another way that you can use that. Um, the next thing we have is the natural bug repellent, and I'm not going to make this because I already have it in here. Um, this, I believe, is a four ounce bottle, and I have the pumper spray uh, just because it sprays a larger area and it sprays a little bit um, faster. But this one is um, 20 drops of Terra Shield, and that is doTERRA's um, bug repellent blend. And then I add an additional 20 drops of lemongrass, 20 drops of cedarwood, 20 drops of Purify, and you can also add eucalyptus if you'd like. And then you just top it off with water. And then keep this out, um, spray it when the bugs are around. They do not like this, <laughs> they will not bite you. And like what we um, have done before is like if you're laying in a hammock or something like that, you can quickly just spray this around and it kind of keeps the bugs off of and away from that area. So this is another really good one. And the last one, which I'm not gonna make on camera because it does get a little messy, um, it's natural sunscreen. And I love this because it's super nourishing for the skin and it has no harmful chemicals. I don't know if any of you know how bad sunscreen actually is for you. Um, yes, so Margie actually asked if it's good for ticks. So we use that, um, that um, bug repellent blend on our dogs as well. And what you would want to do is just take a dropper, kind of like you would do with the flea medicine, and put a drop at the tail and maybe a drop at the neck. You don't want to put any... Um, oils for on animals near their eyes, nose, ears, anything like that because they are so much more sensitive than humans. So um, just a drop like on the back of the neck and on the tip of the tail and you should be good to go. Another thing that we do is spray a, um, get a, what do you call those things, um, handkerchief or I think it's a handkerchief, wet and then um, spray it with the bug repellent spray and put it in the freezer. So if you know you're gonna be out with the dog and it's gonna be hot, you could take that out of the freezer, put that around their neck and it'll actually keep them cool, um, keep the bugs away and um, be cooling for them as well. So that's another great way to use it. All right, so back to sunscreen. So I don't know if any of you know how bad um, sunscreen actually is for you, but it is pretty toxic a lot of the times. Um, the way that, especially with the um, spray bottle ones that everybody is using, um, the um, zinc oxide that they put in it is when it turns into a liquid form, it is actually very, very harmful for your lungs. And so um, when it's in liquid form in the spray bottles and you're spraying it all over and you're inhaling that, that's actually getting into your lungs and it's not, um, it's a really harmful chemical. So. Plus you also at some point would like to be able to get some natural sun. So vitamin D is essential for health and wellness. People that have vitamin D deficiency can have mood swings, can be overly tired um, or have trouble sleeping, have anxiety, lots of different um, um, vitamin D deficiency symptoms. And a lot of people in Chicago actually get vitamin D deficiency in the winter because you're never outside. But if you're constantly outside in the summer and you've got UVA and UVB blocking sunscreen on, then you're not getting vitamin D either. So literally stand outside for 10 to 15 minutes a day without anything on, get the vitamin D that you need, and then you can apply your sunscreen. So this sunscreen takes maybe five minutes, less than five minutes probably to make, has nothing um, that is harmful for you in it. It's a half a cup of the solid coconut oil, just in a glass bowl, 
um, two teaspoons of zinc oxide and zinc oxide you can buy from Amazon or a health food store or something like that you want to make sure it's non nano uh, the nano version is the one that's actually harmful for you so non nano and I can take a picture of what I have and send it to you so you can see um, I add uh, vitamin E oil just for a little moisturizing and um, a little additional sunscreen two tablespoons of shea butter and 10 drops of lavender and you just mix it up um, I put it in a jar like this but you can easily put it in a tube or anything else um, and that's it and you don't need a lot I've got blue on my finger but you literally don't need a lot a little bit goes a long way as you can see and very nourishing for the skin it's not super greasy um, but it will provide you good coverage. And if you have really pale skin or you burn easily, you could add additional zinc oxide. So this recipe, we do two teaspoons full. Um, if you want a little more SPF coverage, you could add more zinc oxide. And I do have a, um, a guide that I can post in the comments as well. So I just thought I would share a couple of different ways that you can use your oils in the summer. If you have a chance, come to some of our make and takes. We do probably one a month or one every other month and they're really a great way for you to continue to learn how to use your oils in a variety of different ways. In turn, um, getting rid of some of your toxic chemicals out of your home, which will also provide a healthier environment for you and your family, which will make you feel better. I mean, it's a, it's a domino effect. So um, hope you can join us at our next Make and Take. I hope this was helpful for you. And if you have any questions, feel free to ask. I'll post the recipes in the comment section. All right, hope everybody has a good night. Thanks.